with this holiday season upon us, the season of giving is alive and well. And here in the downtown east side, James Harry from the All Nations Outreach Society is joining us today. James, what's happening behind us here? Uh, we're changing up today from our normal uh, lunch lunch bag giveaway. Uh, we're, we got today. We got some pizzas, and we're handing out to residents of downtown east side. Have a, our weekly lunch program. Amazing. Now this has been going on for how long now? Since the pandemic. So I was, I was at about three years. Wow. And I, I was talking to you about this before. Now it started out with 12 sandwiches. Mm -hmm. You're up to what? 30? What did you say to me? 34,000 lunches? Or? I think it was like 34, 36, something. 36, like, yeah. yeah. In the past, in those three years. 36,000 people have been fed by your generosity and the generosity of so many sponsors. Who's gotten involved with this initiative from the sponsor side? So we got a, some, my my wife's uncle uh, from Lebo Enterprises, they, they, they were for about two years sending uh, 250 a week and that helped us increase it. And then LNG Canada came on board, Sodexo Canada came on board, all, all, all uh, partners for the LNG project back home, as well as my cousin uh, Ray Tuji and Steve and Barbers for the past three years on uh, Truth and Reconciliation Day, they go in, rather than take the day off, they go in and all their wages for that day come to us. All their, all whatever they make in haircuts that day, all come to us. And they have a donation jar there. And so first year it was like 9,200, second year was like 5,000, and this year it was like 4,200. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. We also got to see a little volunteer appreciation night last night. Yeah. Murray Porter had uh, the opportunity of gracing the stage and playing some tunes. Do you know Woodwinner? Let's take a look at some of Murray's performance last night. James, that was fantastic to see that. To see so many volunteers come forward, what do you want to say to those that, that give their time so generously to make this happen? It's awesome. It, it's amazing just how our, nor our northern relatives, uh, our neighbors that come together, they do fundraisers for us, you know, to send money so we can help feed our, our relatives here in the downtown east side. The, you know, the volunteers that come together every week. Last year, during a snowstorm, they left two hours early so they get there in time for, for, to prepare the lunches. Then they had two hour commute back home in the snow. It's just the dedication. It's, it's amazing how everybody's come together and grown to what we've grown into. Amazing. And speaking of growing what you've grown into, James, you come from the streets here as well. You spent a lot of time down here as well as your wife. Do you mind sharing a story a bit with us? Sure. Yeah, I, I, I was actually in that alley behind Carnegie there. It was one of my places I hung out, as well as, you know, in, in, in my own community, just uh, locked in, locked, isolated myself, lost in my addiction. And I get, when I retrace these steps that I, I, I've taken with my addiction, that, you know, I, I'm very fortunate to be still alive and still here and, and, to, to know, you know, what some of them are going through, and you know, to to be that friendly hello, how are you doing? You want to go for a coffee? And it goes a long way. Incredible. And now you've dedicated a lot of your time to helping people get sober and get off the streets and and find their way in life. So congratulations. So I'm, I'm so proud of you and so proud of all your volunteers here today. Thank you for joining us. Very nice to see you, James. Back to you in studio.